Hey, what's going on guys? Session workout 128 today. We're breaking it down. Our workout is four times, 63 alternating dumbbell snatches. 70 pounds for guys, 50 pounds for ladies. So a little bit heavier than uh, kind of open standards. And then we're gonna go right into 126 wall balls. 20 pounds for guys, 14 for ladies. 10 foot target for guys, uh, nine foot target for ladies. Um, scales for this workout, if you guys need to scale it down, you can always scale the rep scheme down. Uh, or you guys can drop the dumbbell weight down to 50, 35, kind of what's a little bit more standard for the open. Uh, wall balls, guys, we probably don't really need to scale these at all today. 20 pounds and 14 pounds is pretty standard across competition. So I'm probably not looking at scaling the weight on the wall balls down or the height of the target, but you guys can scale that rep number down if 100 and you know over 100 reps is kind of just, you know, you're gonna wake up extremely sore tomorrow. Uh, if you guys need to scale those down. So uh, we got Jonathan here talking about the workout with us. And then we have uh, athletes Mason and Murph demoing the workout for us. So let's hear their guys, their strategies really quick. Uh, well, so I thought it was a 50, but try to go 21 reps at a time on the dumbbell. See how we do about that. Uh, probably breaking down into like 10s if it's always getting really heavy. And on the wall balls, start off with 30 and go from there. Again, just short breaks. Thankfully, it's a 20 pound dump ball, so it shouldn't be too hard to keep those going. Okay. We'll see what happens. I think my strategy on the uh, snatches is going to be uh, 30, 20, and then finish. So try and do that in three rounds. And then, uh, as Coach Sid over there told me, uh, stick to 10s. So I'm going to just try and do rounds of 10. And if I can't hit 10s, then I'll hit fives until I finish. All right, uh, so I think Murph's on the left, guys. Mason's on the right, uh, since you guys don't have a, a athlete to recognize off of. Um, Murph is a master's athlete, so I think he may have dropped the dumbbell down to 50 pounds. Um, Mason's it throwing, looks like that's what he did. Yeah, Mason's throwing that 70 around there. Um, so I wanted to kind of chat about, like, the idea of this workout was to try and have you go as unbroken or as close to unbroken as possible. So if we were to see this at a... Uh, regional level or se uh, semi-final level, you'd probably see all athletes going close to, if not unbroken on this workout. So I kind of mimicked this one after a workout in regionals 2016. That was, um, it was 104 wall balls and then 54 pull-ups. Um, and the top times were all going unbroken on that workout. So I think there's like a five minute time cap on that one so it was, a, it was a really fast workout not that these guys did this workout wrong they obviously maximized their performance on this one um that, that's just kind of like the layer down uh, like peeling the onion away to see like what the best kind of scores on this workout would be so um jonathan if you're doing this workout how'd you break this up um i would i would probably 70 is a heavy dumbbell for me yeah um, I would probably go for me, tens ten yeah. to 15. Okay. Um, on that wall balls, not my strong suit. So I would also probably go with tens. This is going to be one of those ones where I would, I would have to break a lot and try to just keep my rest as minimal as possible. Knowing yeah. going into it that I was going to end up breaking a lot. For sure. I'm just a smaller athlete. It's just yeah. how it's going to be for me. Yeah. Um, so I just need to strategize that way. Yep. Yeah, I think if you like if you're not planning on going unbroken on this workout, this workout is really about like, hey, what's the minimum number of sets I can get each movement done um in this workout? And that's kind of like what Mason did was the twenty ones. He knew he mm -hmm. could go like yeah. three sets of twenty one and then go big sets on the on the wall balls. Um Mason actually got really good shoulder flexion, so that's cool to see. Murph had shoulder surgery on uh that right arm and now he's currently has a torn tricep <laughs> you were here when he did that yep right? i yeah. was present sweet sweet <laughs> it was after this workout don't worry y'all yeah yeah <laughs> i didn't count murph set he said he was gonna go 20 40 63 i feel like he went smaller sets because he seemed to be breaking earlier than mason yeah the cycle speed's about the same so i think he probably went smaller sets i Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. This is obviously Mason's third set of 21. 
Oh, no, no I think, yeah, he, he went did, 20s. Yeah, okay. he did two. Yeah, yeah. He was pretty quick on those. Um, and obviously it's 50 pounds, so you can move it a little bit faster. But yeah, you can see Mason's speed of contraction start to slow down a little bit here, which honestly I think is totally fine on this workout, especially if you're trying to, you're pushing your sets. That dumbbell is going to start to get real, it's going to start to get heavier. So you're going to need to kind of like slow those reps down at the top. You can see him taking a breath there at the top, um, which is, uh, <laughs> he looked at him and was like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he didn't say that, but that's what it looked like. It's, he was thinking it. <laughs> yeah. He was thinking it. Um, but yeah, your rep speed is definitely going to start to slow down towards that ladder set, especially if you're pushing those sets. So I'm always conflicted about wall ball sets, like above 100, like whether you should just push the pace on them and go big set and chip away from there. I feel like people redline on them really quick. You kind of have that. I do. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think, so like, again, this is kind of just a sets workout. Um, I wasn't counting what Mason was on there. Murph is doing tens for sure. Yeah. I was caught those. I feel like Mason's going for 20 or 30. Yeah, I think so. That was, that, I think that was about 20. 20. Yeah. So I would honestly, I would like to see Mason push the first set a little bit more. Um, again, not that he's like doing this wrong but i think if you were to go something like try and push like 50 40 30 uh six <laughs> um i it would be interesting to see what happened in if you were to do that for the for this workout he's a he's a super strong dude you can see how fast his speed of contraction is yeah um like mason power cleans i think it was like 330 was his last power Jeez, okay cleaner, 350 315 maybe 315 to 330 so he's like super strong dude he squats well over uh front squats like well over three so like these wall balls aren't necessarily like a big hindrance for him and you can see how fast his speed of contraction is on them so i'd be curious to see what, what would happen if he just pushed those sets and kind of like maybe bumped up into red line and some of those in in was bumping red line on those sets if that makes sense you would probably be a little bit more like Murph strategy. I would have to go yeah. tense, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Is it just leg fatigue that would get you, or um, sh probably shoulders? Actually, no, probably leg fatigue. Yeah. Um, and then I just redline very quick. Yeah. Wall balls. Yeah. It's interesting because in that squat video, you were moving that two hundred five pounds pretty well. So maybe we just have to get you. I think we saw like in that fitness of the coast workout too that we just needed to work on getting you to breathe a little bit better in them. Yeah, I think because I think because it was heavier, I was focusing on breathing way more. Oh, with the two hundred five. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because I yep. knew I had to. Whereas I think a wall, wall balls are <laughs> I don't. light compared to that, and I hold my breath a lot. I don't need to breathe on wall balls. <laughs> yeah, apparently that's what I think. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, yeah. I guess I mean if you're thinking of somebody else is thinking of it, so like. If, if you guys like look at athletes and they're doing big sets on something like a wall ball, they're finding areas that they can breathe in that rep. And that's what keeps their endurance super high on that movement. Same thing with like dumbbell snatches, even at 70 pounds, if you're like able to keep breathing throughout that entire rep, that's what improves your endurance on workouts like, or on movements like that, especially under density is your ability to breathe entirely through that movement. So Obviously, something we're gonna have to we're yeah. working on with Jonathan. Um, and we kind of brought that to his attention in the fittest of the coast workout. But yeah, that's like if you're seeing athletes doing like hundred plus wall balls, you're like, how are they doing that? It's because they're breathing through that whole rep. So something to think about for you guys out there. Has Mason been sticking with pretty consistent? Yeah, I think so. The entire way through. Yep. Yeah, would have been, Murph's got to walk. Yeah, 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 I was like. I'm that must be a master thing. I was thing. like, I don't think it's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's taking a whole lap between his wall ball sets. 
Yeah, you can see Mason's almost like one and a half to one. Well, I, like obviously Murph's a little bit shorter, but even his squat speed is just so much faster. Mm -hmm. He really, he like bounces out of the ball. Yeah. And so like, even if he were to like Mason if were to catch and then literally slow his rep down, like control it a little bit more, that's creating a little bit less like impact force. So you can breathe through that rep a little bit easier too, almost, and then artificially improve your ability to go deeper into sets on it. So like right now he's starting to get into like super high respiration rates you can see from him breathing. Mm -hmm. um, so I almost wonder if you were just controlling that ball a little bit more, if you wouldn't run into that issue, if that makes sense. Murph's just got to squat a little bit more. That's the unfortunate thing about having to throw that ball so high. You just have to have super strong legs for those wall balls. Sucks for our short people. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, yeah. Represent the six foot and above crew for wall balls. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I would really like to hear what Murph's having to say on this workout right now. So I almost wonder if like sets of five for him would have been faster. Like if he were to just do five, breathe five. Yeah. Like right here, he would have been at five. So he just set it down, take a breath, do another set of five, take a breath, do another set of five, take a breath. Nice, Mason. 919. Washboard abs. Must be nice. I know, must be really nice. <laughs> Good for you, Mason. Yeah, I think with Murph just went fives, he would have been significantly... More sustainable. Yeah, significantly faster on this one. I don't even know. What does 126 divide into? I didn't do the math. Uh, it would be 25 with one set of six. So open with a set of six yeah. and just go fives? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just finishing it out for Murph. Murph's competing at Fittest of the Coast too. Is that it? Or is that just a random set? That was just a random set. I think. Of three? Yeah. Sweet. Um, yeah, I think, man, it's always like a mind fuck when you see over 100 wall balls on, on a piece of paper too. Mm -hmm. It's like such a big set for people, I think. So like, just being, I think even if you're doing those sets of five, just like... Oh, that was like a predator. Yeah. <laughs> predator handshake. Predator handshake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still a good time though. With yeah. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Still good. Yeah. Yeah. I think like top times on that one. Uh, I think if you go unbroken, you're probably going around two minutes on the dumbbell, maybe two fifteen. I think Mason was around three on that. Mm -hmm. um, so no breaks on that. You're probably around two minutes, and then unbroken on the wall balls, you can get done in. See, fast carrying times are 4.30. So subtract 25 reps. You're probably looking at right around 3.45 for that. So you might see some times in like the 6.30, 7-ish seven seven, seven -ish range. Yeah. yeah, for that one. But I mean, these guys, they, they did their game plans perfectly, which I think a lot of everyone else that we have done reviews on in the past couple weeks has altered their game plan as they went. So yep. it's kind of cool to see to see them stick do that, that and stick to it. to it. Yeah, so I'd be curious to hear what they had to say about, um, you know, how they would do things differently if they would attack it a little bit harder or not. So, but yeah, nice work, guys. Uh, good luck this week, guys. Let us know how it goes.